At this point, everyone is familiar with the Hearthstone mini set, the collection of 38 cards released between each expansion. But did you know that the first mini set didn't appear until Madness at the Dark Moon Fair? This is the third episode of a series where I dive into each older Hearthstone expansion and imagine what their mini sets could look like. In today's episode, I'll be sharing the cards I made for a mini set for Whispers of the Old Gods. You might recall how Whispers of the Old Gods was a story told to us by Madame Azul about the terrifying beings that gave the expansion its name. Four old gods were introduced in the expansion, but one in particular took a central place with several cards that were built around him. So in this mini set, Azul will tell a follow up story that centers around everyone's favorite old god. Kathun. The name of this miniset is Anki Raj. I've made many new cards for this video, but before we look at those, I want to quickly explain my rules for this. The idea is that the miniset will be released to standard Hearthstone today, with cards made for all 11 classes using modern keywords. Additionally, I imagine the Whispers of the Old Gods main set would also get re released to standard alongside the miniset. Now let's dive into the Ankiraj miniset. We'll start off with one of the miniset's four legendaries, Battle God Satura for Druid. You will be judged for defiling these sacred grounds. Satura is a 7 mana 5 5 minion with a choose twice effect. It's been a while since we've had one of those. Satura will summon two 3 3 beetles and then let you choose whether to give them Rush, Poisonous, Taunt, or plus 1 plus 1. But remember, you can choose twice. This card presents you with a lot of flexibility, like you could choose to summon two 4-4s four with Taunt for protection, or you could choose Rush and Poisonous if you need to remove something, or maybe just Rush and plus one plus one if you need to remove small minions. Or maybe you'd simply choose to summon two 5-5s five for board presence. There are so many options! In Hearthstone, every third miniset would also feature keywords and mechanics from the previous expansions of the year. And since this is my third episode, I figured the Ankiraj miniset would also introduce keywords and mechanics from my last two episodes. But since Kathun is the central figure of this miniset, many new cards would of course also interact with Kathun. Some cards could even interact with Kathun while also using older mechanics. I've also made this neutral epic card that interacts with your Kathun. Anubisath Giant is a 10 mana 8 8 minion that will cost 1 less for each bonus attack your Kathun has. In the main set, we also saw a type of card that triggered a bonus if your Kathun had 10 or more attack, and I've taken it one step further by having cards in the main set that trigger an additional bonus if your Kathun has 20 or more attack. Now, as you've probably guessed from the thumbnail, the central piece of the Ankiraj miniset is a new Kathun legendary. You know, earlier when I said all the cards from the main set would also get reintroduced to stand out, I was kinda lying. You see, all the cards would get reintroduced except for one, which is Kathun. This is because the old Kathun would get completely replaced by a new version, Kathun Ancient Evil. You will die. Kathun Ancient Evil is a 10 mana 6 6 legendary minion like the first time we saw him. And just like back then, this new Kathun will receive all the bonuses of the cards that buff him. Also, similarly to how we saw a Yoxoran Titan in the Titans miniset, this Kathun is also a Titan. Now, I know Titan isn't an evergreen keyword, but I figured it'd be fine to use it this one time. And who knows, maybe if I keep this up, one day we'll have Titans of all the old gods. Anyway, Kathun's Titan's abilities are Ancient Hunger. With this ability, Kathun will devour a random minion in your opponent's hand, deck, and battlefield and gain their stats. Another ability is All Seeing Evil. This ability will summon two Ice Stalks of Kathun with Taunt and Lifesteal and stats equal to Kathun's. The Ice Stalks are the same ones from the Caverns of Time card set and will also gain any additional stats your Kathun gains. His final ability is Dark Glare. With this ability, you will deal damage equal to your Kathun's attack randomly split among all enemies, just like the effect of the original Kathun. Your heart will explode. Kathun also has another line of text that will let you discover a worship of Kathun after he uses an ability and set its cost to zero. The Worshippers of Kathun are any card that either gives your Kathun bonus stats or effects or trigger a bonus if your Kathun has a certain amount of attack as you'll see on the screen here. 
But what's the point of playing a Cthulhu deck if you never draw your Cthulhu? Fear not, for this next card could help you there. Krong's Dragon Hoof returns as Krong's Shadow Hoof. You'd best be ready for a real fight! Krong's is a 6 mana 6-6 six, six legendary minion with a battle cry that will draw your Cthulhu. But if your deck has no Cthulhu, Krong's will deal 6 damage randomly split among all enemies. Looks like I'm doing this myself. The last card I made is the final legendary of the miniset, the very person who's been telling us this story, Lasul Fortune Teller. Care to hear your fortune? Lasul is a 6 mana 6-6 six, six legendary minion for Priest. When you play Lasul, she will let you discover and cast a tarot card and then shuffle the other 6 into your deck. The tarot cards all have a powerful bonus and will instantly cast when you draw them. They are Tarot Card Power. This tarot card will deal 5 damage to the enemy hero. Tarot card light. This one will restore 10 health to your hero. Tarot card disaster. This one will destroy a random minion for each player, except for Lasul. Tarot card betrayal. With this one you will take control of the enemy minion with the lowest attack. Tarot card wealth. This one will give you a copy of a random card in your opponent's hand and reduce its cost by 3. And Tarot Card Rebirth. This one will resurrect a random friendly minion. So far the Tarot Cards have all had very powerful effects, but that's because they are balanced by the last one. Tarot Card Death. This one will deal 10 damage to your hero and then shuffle itself into your opponent's deck. This last one wouldn't show up in the original Discover Pool, but if you're really unlucky you could draw it right after and potentially lose the game. I actually shared a different version of this card on Reddit a while back and it even made it to the top 10 highest rated cards of the week and was featured in a couple review videos on YouTube. The version you see here is thanks to the suggestions made by YouTuber Bionic Door. If you're interested in watching him talk about an older version of the card, check out the link in the description. Well, that's all for this episode. I still don't know what we should call this series, so if you made it this far into the episode, maybe you also have some ideas for a name. If so, leave a comment and consider also leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.